everybody. Today, I have a redstone tutorial for you guys. Um, as you can tell, I'm not the actual Killer Wasp TV. I am his official partner, Dragon Dude. Uh, he does game and let's plays. I do tutorials. So, today, I have a tutorial for you guys. So, we have a in survival-friendly intruder alarm. So I'm just a random guy. Blah -dee 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 -dee. I'm walking up. Ooh, it's a house. I'm gonna go in and steal some stuff. Dang it! <laughs> Make sure you turn that on. <laughs> Let's try that again. I, I'm gonna go into this house and steal some their stuff and whatever is in here. Oh dang! What is that? It's an alarm. I need to get out of here. Uh, you didn't hear me. I'm out of here. Okay, so I will show you guys how to make this now. So you're going to need redstone lamp, blocks of choice, redstone, I mean a lever, black redstone, redstone, three hoppers, a dropper, three redstone comparators, a repeater, note blocks, Sticky piston and an iron door. Did I get a pressure plate? No, I did not. So get a pressure plate. Um, you can either have two pressure plates or a button. It honestly doesn't matter. Just have something out just to try to trick people. Alright, so I'll show you guys how to make this now. Alright. So what you want to do is you want to build your basic uh, door structure. So two high pillar door to high pillar and then go ahead and extend these out in one block behind this go ahead and place a block grab your redstone place your redstone lamp on top grab your lever place the lever on the side now you don't need these so from this side of the door we're gonna make a four by four by three deep hole so one two three deep two Three, four, two, three, four. And now just cut out the rest. We're gonna do this in survival. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter, but all right. So now you know how to look at this real quick. All right. So underneath your door. Uh, Grab, place down a block of choice, grab your redstone, place redstone on top, place a block of choice on top of the redstone and a pressure plate on top. Let's see here. Alright. Place another block. Grab your redstone repeater. Place it, place it to heading towards the back. Sorry, I'm just this is my first time making something like this. So you go ahead and place two comparators like that. Place a block on top of the left one. And then what you want to do is you're gonna make a two by two by and then an extra layer on the bottom there. Uh, grab your note blocks, place them right there. Grab your blocks of choice and place them in front of the note blocks. So and then after this, um, go ahead and place a, like a dirt block or something. Uh, place hoppers like this and place redstone on top. Underneath your redstone block, wait, this needs to be out one more, sorry about that. I have to go get it now. Alright. There you go. I'm grab my lever. Place it. So, underneath your lever, your redstone lap, go ahead and place a sticky piston with the face, with the sticky side facing down. Place a block of redstone underneath it. Uh, go ahead and grab a hopper. Or a dropper, excuse. 
place it right here and then grab your last topper and place it facing in so into the dropper so behind to leave a gap between this you don't want to place anything here so place a block and connect this redstone here with this redstone here so it should be on it's going to turn that off for now so it should be on like this um, I also forgot there's you need two random items that you're not going to use they, it doesn't matter if they're stackable or not it just has to be two items that you'll never use so toss one in your hopper toss one into another I have to manually put that one in. As you can see, that block turned on. Oop. Mistake. I'm gonna need that red stuff. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Alright. Is that it? Really? That's actually it, so you are pretty much done. Really? I thought it wouldn't take that long. I would take that short. Alright, so I guess now you can cover it up. Make it look... You could like make this into a wall or something. You just cover it up, make it look natural like a house. Or if you don't want to do that, that's totally fine, I don't care. All right, and then turn this on. Hold up, did something wrong. It's not, that's not supposed to happen. Let's see here. I thought that was it. Mm. It's not facing the right way. Oh, oh, I see. So, I forgot, guys. You need to place the redstone comparator like that. So, when you turn it on, it won't go off. It'll only do it once. Right? And then, once somebody comes along, steps on the pressure plate, it'll activate the alarm. And you can set this to any pitch you want. Um, that is, doesn't honestly matter. Alright, and that's your intruder alarm for survival-friendly mode. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if we get 10 likes, I'll show you how to make a wireless version of this intruder alarm. Probably only creative mode, only creative only. So, yeah, if we get 10 likes, I'll show you guys how to make that. And see you guys next time. Um, I'd like to give credit to where it's necessary. This is actually Mr. Crayfish's original idea. So, I'm not taking 100% credit, but... Um, the wireless version will be my own. Um, I just forgot to say that earlier. Um, this is his idea. Um, I'm just trying to get the word out because his stuff is really great. Go check out his channel. It's really great stuff. Um, or else survival friendly tutorials. Now, can I kick it? Thank you. Yeah, I'm so damn grateful. I grew up really wanna go fronts, but that's what you get when Wu Tang raised you. Y'all can't stop me. Go hard like I got an eight away in my heartbeat. And I'm eating at the beat like it gave a little speed to a great white shark on shark. We